Hey guys, name's Fen playing the Dark Mod with the beleaguered fence taking the spotlight right out of my hand. Apparently, there is something in here in the captain's quarters after all. Well, I mean, it's a wild guess. Well, I mean, it's a wild guess. Well, maybe it's a wild guess. Well, maybe this painting has something cliched behind it, you know, a safe. Um, I can't find anything. So let me instead go back to that one room. Turn off your damn light, Finn. Looking for a garbage letter full of smut and filth. Ah, here it is. Smut ahoy, letter to John. Oh, sounds smutty. John, I need your help. I lost the damned key to the evidence storage. Must find it before morning. And I remember now it was in that closet on the floor. Can you try to look for it on your patrol? I'm assigned to the jail tonight and can't look for it. Methinks I had the key before I went to the cellar to clean up the interrogation room. I took the mop from the cleaning closet, went to the interrogation room, cleaned the mess up, took the mop back, and went to our office. Then I noticed that the cursed key is missing. I'll be flogged if the captain finds out. Please help, Oliver. Well, I've already found it so blah. Hey, hey guys, how's it going, Fen? Here. Four and three and two and one. Fen not finding a thing begun. Apparently, though, dude had to look on the forums to find whatever was in there, so I don't know. Oh, well, I guess I'll just go down to the cells. After all, maybe I don't need it. It could be for a side mission. That's kind of what I heard. But this guy can just shove it right up his backside. I don't even care about his Christmas. He ain't Tiny Tom, nor is he even named Thomas. His name is Bobbery. Admiral Bobbery. That's what I frickin' decree, cause he does not see me when I open a secret passage in the door. It makes total sense, right? Well, it doesn't have to, cause I'm Fen, and I say literally anything I want to. If you're looking for sense, go watch somebody else. Okay, so this is loot, despite it looking extremely plain. Fine. Tudum is not very good about pointing out loot, but I guess that's the realism, because Garrett just knows exactly what everything's worth. That's realistic. Hey, it's a hammer. Of course it's a hammer. I've seen him before. Good thing they're not carrying torches here. It would suck all the oxygen out of the room, but they're carrying eye patches. Well, I almost had that guy's thing. Oh, hey. That's my loot goal. Awesome! I guess they do sometimes notice outright when stuff's stolen from their waist or when someone makes noise behind them, as I keep constantly doing. Well, I was just guessing the cells may be small. I mean, maybe they're not. There's the morgue, there's interrogation. Uh, I guess I'll go to the morgue, because the morgue is the happiest. Have heart and hammer. I do serve the Lord Builder. Have at thee! You are too young to serve. <laughs> Missed Take me! This. All right, all right, seriously. Okay, well, I guess I'll go to interrogation first, then. That sounds even more sunny. None of these are locked because they're super welcoming. Stay in my shed. There's a nice little cage. It's for birds, because these people are huge fans of pets and other such animals. Man, this room is so, so purposeful. There's an axe for chopping down trees for powering wood in the warm Christmas hearth places. Wow, there's nothing in here, okay. Well, except for the correct atmospheric embellishments and stuff, but hey, this guy likes dead people. Well, maybe the morgue might not contain anything more interesting than the, the interrogation room does, but then again, it's a corpse. So, hey, score, oh, it's a readable, hey, score corridor sealed. Oh, thank you. Weird that that guy came and found me. Weird indeed. I think I shall have my privacy in the morgue. <laughs> corridor sealed. The morgue corridor leading to the street has been sealed by Captain Knighton's orders because it is a possible escape route for the prisoners. Bodies can be dumped in the underground river. <laughs> yeah, no problem there. We gotta drink that water, but we don't farm and we don't drink water. I don't know what we think we're doing here. I guess that tells you the price of a vial of holy water on the scales of justice. Oh, these aren't scales, okay. Yeah, you just ogle that dead body there without doing anything useful. We know what you're doing in the back room of the game store. It's my rhythm. Okay, going into the light, not putting the torches out. Oh, fine. Oh, fine. I'm gonna create some cover of darkness here. Yeah, because I haven't found the frickin' thing in the captain's chambers that's irrelevant but true! Uh oh Spell my name with an X and a Z. Fixxen. Keep out only for corpse disposal. Yeah, well, obviously, I'm gonna make my escape through here or something. And obviously, corpse disposal is of great... In... Tourist to me. Ooh. 
<laughs> I think I managed to escape that one by playing like hey, a good... Dang it! Wow, these patrols around here make it pretty hard to pick the lock into the dead body room. Right, so I got it open. This guy's just gonna turn around. Oh, I decided I don't want to go over here. I think I want to go over there. There might be a bone buried in the yard over there. All right, let's make my run over here quick like because I gotta see those dead bodies that are being dumped. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, how do I get back in? No idea. Maybe I go around. This is rather pretty though. They dump the dead bodies in this green zone. I guess it's green because it's pagansy. Because dead bodies breed trees. That is the pagansy way. Whoa. Holy shit. Suddenly, things are beautiful and weird. Yigler Kovlingnar Herogd. Oh, I don't know. That seems rather Cthulhu-ish, obviously. Hey. Sweet. I mean, I should totally explore more up there, but colors beckon unto me. Wow. I love it when the dark mod adds a splash of this crazy color. Whoa! Uh-oh. Something tells me some evil is going to occur, and the whole police station is going to be overrun with undead. Those are jewels, aren't they? Yes, indeed. All of the statues are like, stop! So I, I won't, of course, because the thieves' way is to never, ever, ever stop, ladies. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what? How the Christ am I supposed to survive that? Wow, I can actually survive in this lava for some sort of time? Well, not really. Man, that that's cool to get, but I, uh, it's a little deadly, and I don't need the loot. Now, I have to remember which cell number my guy is in, which I don't remember at all. A10. Okay, so let's read these. I don't have my G glass. Gangsta, that's this is his B. So these people, I don't even care about these guys whatsoever. However, there may or may not be some stuff in these. I don't think so, though. Also, I've got a cell key, so why do I ever need to go picking the locks out? Whatever. Yeah, I mean, I just thought maybe there'd be an amusing note or something. Hey, anyway, they're a good place to hide. Excellent place to hide. Oh, I'm a prisoner, don't you mind me. Just causing no trouble whatsoever, sir. Glaring at you because I'm pissed off. Oh, excuse me, sir, but you're not supposed to be checking in here. Hey, I'm clipping through the wall again. Man, the dark mod always lets you clip through walls. I, uh, <laughs> I am definitely a pro now. Anodyne has trained me to be a real ghost. There, I even properly locked it and everything so you can move on through now. Move! What the hell's wrong with you, stupid AI? What are you just standing there for? What is wrong with you, stupid? You never do that normally. Idiot! Oh, I thought this was a circle and that things loop around, but I guess not. Seriously, dude, move from your freaking goddamn place! Hate that! Oh, I'm on a rope, but now suddenly I'm unpredictable. You're stuck in the wall like a freaking moron. Oh, I hate you. Oh, man, yeah, sure, yeah. All right, well, I don't need to be here anyway. I'll just try to sneak around this guy and he'll be one less guy patrolling, so that's good. <laughs> All right, completely free to move around in cell block A. A10 is going to be right at the end, of course, to make it more difficult. A9, A10. Here's my man. Uh, well, of course I'm going to have to carry him because it suggested I might have to, so of course I'm definitely going to have to, but... I want to go and snatch that crystal, but I don't even know how to do anything. <clears throat> Help me to crawl, I am unable. I can only run the 30 mile sprint and win the gold medal. The 30 mile sprint is an event, right? This guy's rather fancily dressed, but hey. Let me just stash this guy in a sort of a safe place. Lie down! Oh my god. Man, it's just so dumb. I mean, if I can put this guy down here and then just drag him over here, then why can't I just put him down here in the first place? I mean, come on. It's just a waste of time. Oh, that guy is now walking again. Congratulations! Okay, so there's wood up here, and that's how I would get back up. In fact, that's probably how I would get down without getting injured. Still don't notice any objective about finding something in the captain's room. Maybe it's not an objective. Maybe it's just like a side, 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 side thing. Okay, I don't know what to do here. I'm gonna have to try to plan my thing out in advance, and of course, everything just lights right up with artificial light that I can't do anything about. Perhaps I should just run really, really fast. 
<laughs> yeah, you guys can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread mother frickin' man. Uh-oh. Yeah, you can't catch me over this gap. Oh, I've got some crystal that is just kind of loot. Awesome. What did you hear? You didn't hear anything. Jesus, except for the sounds of some undead screaming, but you didn't hear that. You know what? Maybe there's some other stuff in those cells that I didn't get into. Kind of want to explore them even though it's unlikely. But uh, maybe I won't. Much less crippled when carrying a body than one is an original thief. Right, well, this is the window that I'm supposed to use as a starting and probably ending point. So... Man, there's some ultra-realistic sounds outside the window here. Sounds like real-life people screaming and shouting, Hey! Stop that! Let's playing! Anyway... Uh-oh. This is a hay cart, which is back where I start, so I'm probably supposed to just drop him here. Something. Help him, quote-unquote, hide. Well... That's it. After I'm done, exit the way I came. Well, I could do that. But apparently there's something in the captain's room. Why would there be something? Man, nobody told me anything about that. Oh, I accidentally completed the mission when I was hiding from the torch guy. That's just freaking great. <laughs> okay, you know what? The guy said he went on the forum. I'm gonna go on the forum to search for that thing in the room. It might be some uber Easter egg or something, so it could be fun. Okay, so after trawling through the forum, trawling, not trolling, obviously, I have come across the apparent solution here is to move furniture because there's a floorboard like one of these floorboards that's who the hell would ever find this i even looked at the floor all around and i moved this oh yeah yeah what is this another unmarked key what is that supposed to be for anyway a captain's log star date captain's log the work to enlarge the jail by building a new cell block has just begun when the workers discovered a tunnel just below the jail area. I went to investigate it if it poses a security risk for the jail. A marvelous finding. A ruin of some sort. Oh yeah, which looks very, very old. If it is a tomb, what it looks like, it must be filled with treasure. I told the guards there was nothing there and ordered them to dump the two executed pickpockets in the pit. I solved two problems at once. The jail is more secure if the morgue corridor to the street can be sealed and the guards probably won't investigate the pit because of the stench of the corpses. I'll investigate the ruins tomorrow. Went down there again and looked around more carefully. Good thing I have these breath potions to counter the smell of the decaying corpses. I examined the ruins more carefully. At first, I thought the lava would pose a problem, but the footing is relatively firm. I noticed that there is a sealed heavy stone door at the end of the ruined corridor. I tried to open it, but it is firmly closed. Shame. I looked around and noticed that there is some sort of ruined stone plaque on the toppled first stone door. It reads, Ileg Otvian Nar Helogd. I've no idea what it means. Next time, I'll be back with a crowbar. Went down again and tried to open the door with all my might, but in the end, I broke the crowbar and the door still stood closed. This is starting to be an annoyance. Maybe the strange words on the door will help. Understanding the origins of this place may elucidate how to open the door or what lies behind it. I'm starting to get the feeling I did it wrong. Some taffer had the nerve to break into my manor. They had the nerve to steal my scepter. Who do they think I am, some ready-to-be-robbed fool? They are going to regret the day they were born. I'll hunt them, hunt them down, and a jail sentence is what they'll get. A long and painful one, with only one kind of ending for their kind of scum. I've been busy chasing the thieves, but managed to ask around about the cryptic words on the door without raising much suspicion. The builders seem to know about it. One brother, Colbin, told me that blah, 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 is some kind of old holy language for the builders. Didn't sound very holy to me. The words, crudely translated, mean the gallery of heaven and hell. Colbin said that it is a legend among the builders, a place where heaven and hell meet, or not meet, but intertwine, where they coexist. And at that place lies the crystal lens, he said. He couldn't say what the lens is for, but it is a large diamond. A large, immensely valuable diamond, and soon it is mine. I told Colbin I was interested in learning more of this kind of builder beliefs, and after I paid a modest sum for the church, he showed an old book where the lens is described in detail. I copied the scripture from the book here. The gallery of heaven and hell, a place of dark spirits held. Locked, held, punished by the Builder's grace, and the holy crystal lens banishes them from their sweet release. 
Sealed is the sinner's entrance to the heavens and the boiling stone. Journey forth, pilgrim, but only after the ever-vigilant guardians can set great light of justice in the underground abyss. But be wary, traveler, for the tormented spirits still lurk within. The crystal lens, the ward against the tormented, standeth between the boiling hell and the heaven crystal. Pilgrim, never touch the lens itself, lest a terrible fate devours thee. <laughs> Whoops, only the builder's blessing on the heaven crystal can keep the tormented at bay. Is that what holy water's for, then? I'm not entirely sure what it means. I need to think about this. Great news! We caught the thief! His name is Locke Butternose, and he deals in stolen property. D. Most excellent! He was dragged in a few hours ago, and I put my men to work. They beat him unconscious, of course. But tomorrow, when he wakes up, I'm going to interrogate him personally to find out if he had any accomplices. I'll find out everyone involved in the heist to my manor, and then they will starve and rot in my prison. And then I'll get my diamond! These days, I love my job. It is good to be the captain of the City Watch. <laughs> Large diamond, if it exists, get it. I did, and really the extremely wrong way, but hey, <laughs> that's cool. Now I can end the mission in peace. In you go, in I go, and that's the end. Ugh. Right, so I didn't get all the loot, but some... And yeah, that was a pretty cool mission, though, overall. Now, the next mission in this series is the Glenham Tower, but as some of you may recall, I've played that one already, so I'm just going to link to that in the annotation, and you can go watch that one. Or if you've seen it already, then we'll both just skip ahead to the next, next one in this series called The Transaction. So, either way, I'll see you guys next time, and bye for now.